What the fuck just happened in today's episode? What the flying fuck just happened? Now for those of you that are watching, who've already watched the new episode, what the flying fuck happened? I don't know who the fuck made the anime today, I don't know what SP is thinking, but what the hell? There's some shit in this episode that pissed me right off, alright? That pissed me off. First of all, no Serata's 3 Tomo. She does not get the fucking 3 Tomo in this episode. What the hell were these guys thinking? What the hell were they thinking? I'm actually genuinely confused. Now, I know some might say, hey, you know, there might be a future arc about her, this and that. No, that's not the point. The point is, in the manga, she has a 3 Tomo. Now, guess what? In the next manga, she's gonna have a Mangekyo Sharingan, and guess what? We're not gonna see it in the anime. Huh, who knows? Who knows? There's the thing about her and her 3 Tomo, that is almost two years ago from the point of which we're at in the anime and manga right now. In the manga, we're almost at chapter 60 next week and her 3 Tomo was shown back 20 chapters ago, which is almost two years. So for those wondering why I'm pissed, that's why. And the other thing is, Serata is not going to get any screen time after this episode. We don't see her. Like in the manga, we didn't see her till chapter 57, 58. All right, so for those wondering why I'm pissed, we're not going to see her again for a while. Now in the anime, we might see her at the end of the year. Okay, but that's not the point they fucked up and they didn't give her the three tomo she has no three tomo she's supposed to have a three tomo now i don't know what arc they're gonna save her for it better not be some stupid ass arc i don't care if it's a stupid filler arc it's gonna be stupid in this episode they gave her so much screen time they gave her so much analysis like they put so much pressure on her even with kawaki grabbing her arm saying hey you find boro's core he has a core we gotta destroy him and then sarada saying mitsuki and bruto always save her she's pathetic this and that that all should add up to a three tomo she's being really emotional there relying on her teammates while they're getting injured and she doesn't get the fucking three tomo what the hell were these guys thinking i don't know what the fuck these guys who are making this right now are even questioning this right now this episode pissed me off and then on top of that the animation okay i know animation is hard don't get me wrong on that it's it's pretty hard my point is why were they giving this episode where they give her chidori out and you see boryushiki the animation is fucking ass in my opinion i didn't like the animation they should give some 189 or even episode 204 type animation for Boryushiki, but in this you see the chibi faces and they brought back the animation Serata's chidori had no impact when she did the chidori it didn't look that great in the manga holy shit you see the chidori it looks amazing you see the slow-mo of her attacking boro and grabbing the core out in this it looks pretty pathetic it just a flash now i know chidori supposed to be not flash attack or whatever but at least make it impactful this whole episode felt really forced on Serata. even with kawaki grabbing her arm that stuff's not in the manga it felt really forced there on top of that bruto no Knowing that Serata figured something out in the manga, they don't show that, but in the anime, they did because, you know, they're a big team. You know, they know about each other's intentions. That part I understood. And they wasted so much time on Serata and Kawaki. Literally, Kawaki grabs her arm, they wasted a good amount of time. Their teammates are getting injured. They could die any second, but no, they're talking casually like nothing's going on. I don't understand what the hell these guys were thinking with this episode. This episode was okay. I didn't like it. And now, to top it all off, Boryushiki. Why the fuck does Boryushiki look so shit? He does not look menacing you look at the manga holy shit the manga boryushiki is a menacing man he's menacing now if you look at chapter 43 when he says you inferior creature you could see that anger and pissed off you know way he looks at in chapter 54 boryushiki looks menacing the way he attacks sasuke and everything that does not look like that boryushiki in the manga that we see in the anime the anime one looks like a fucking deoxys from pokemon pokemon bro that red side of his face is so bland they're so pathetic coloring they should give it some shade they should give it something extra, but no. The only time they show Boryushiki and they give the ass animation to it. Like, at least when they showed Kawaki, it was fire. Naruto Sasuke versus Jigen was fire. Delta versus Naruto was, eh, it was okay. This is Boryushiki. This is the man who our main character is stuck with. They should at least give him more hype. Bro, they gave Garo more better animation, more screen time, more everything than what they did in this whole episode. And that guy fucking died the same episode. Like, the fuck? Now, I know some of you are like, yo, this guy's criticizing this and that. No, no, no. You don't understand from my point of view. I've been the manga reader for some time and i was waiting for these episodes to be animated but i'm actually hugely disappointed even when they were fighting why is boro wasting so much time talking to them rather than fighting i want to see actual fighting i want to see them getting their ass whooped non-stop no no no. in this it doesn't happen only at the end it does when bruto 
starts getting his ass whooped by Boro and he's being smashed in the ground. That's the only time you see a consecutive attack by Boro. Otherwise, the whole episode, he was beyond chill. But yeah, that's enough of that. All right, I had to get that out. Now, in general, this episode 207 all follows manga chapter 42 and 43 and it ends right in the beginning, the middle of 43. Then next episode is going to follow episode 43 and 44 because they end up in the hospital. Otherwise, the episode was okay. There was some stuff, you know, that I liked. Some stuff I didn't like, but the Kawaki and Sarada thing was kind of eh to me. And on top of that, you can see Sarada, she's about to cry. If you look really carefully at the end of the episode when Boruto's getting smashed in the ground, she tries to yell out his name, but she can't. You could tell by her vocal and the way her mouth makes that face is like she's about to tear up back in previous episodes around, I think it was 62, 3 maybe, when they went to go fight Momoshiki. Sarada was saying the same thing to Mitsuki. Is he going to be all right? And you can see her face is about to like tear up. Same thing here. She opens her mouth in an angry way and her eyes go right. It's usually when it means somebody's saddened or they're about to tear up that they can't do anything. So I like that part with the emotion there because Sarada and Bruto have that type of bond. Like how Bruto knew right away that Sarada figured out something. That type of Team 7 bond, I like. I don't like this other bullshit. The manga, Kawaki pushes Sarada to attack Boro and to figure his core out. In the anime, he just stops her regularly saying, hey, we all have a core, this and that. Like it's the same thing as the manga, but in the manga, Kawaki tells Sarada to focus. Focus on Boro. Don't worry about any of us getting hurt. That adds more depth to the character and Kawaki trying to help the new captain, help the Hokage, future Hokage saying, focus on this. Don't worry about this for a second. If you look at that, you'll solve it all. In the anime, no. She just decides to start running. Think she's pathetic, this and that, which I find kind of bullshit because all Team 7 works together. Any of them get injured together, they all fight against each other. Boruto protects Sarada. Sarada protects Boruto. Mitsuki protects them both and so forth. Her saying that Boruto and Mitsuki always save her, this and that, I don't recall. Maybe they did, but it's like SP is giving her the soccer treatment all over again and SP is saying a big fuck you to all those guys on Boruto and Naruto. I don't know what they were thinking. That's what I think. I think they're giving her the soccer treatment. They're gonna they're gonna tone her down, not give her the three tomo, any of that shit. But yeah, we'll see what the fuck happens. Otherwise, I'm actually hyped for next episode, but like I said, if you look at Bruto's face when he's transformed into Momoshiki, I'm hugely disappointed. Bruto does not look menacing at all. He looks like Deoxys from Pokemon. That's what I think. And we finally get to see the Byakugan. It's not the Jogan at the moment. So we don't know when the Jogan's gonna arrive, but as of right now, his right eye is the Byakugan. Since I said it was a Jogan, it wouldn't make any sense. Now, I wanna see how they play this out because in the manga chapter one, that's actually a Byakugan, not a Jogan. And in the anime, it's the Jogan. So I wanna see how they play out the manga versus the anime. Because I think in the anime, Bruto is gonna learn the Jogan and everything. In the manga, I think Bruto learns Momoshiki's powers and he's able to control his Byakugan and something like that along those lines. But we'll see where everything goes. This is what I think of this episode. I'm hugely disappointed in this episode. All right, y'all can hate me, whatever you want. This is my opinion on this. I'm actually pissed. I wanted some better stuff. I wanted to see a three tomo. I wanted to see better animation. I wanted to see Boyushiki looking more menacing. That ending felt so rushed there because they're running out of time. I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna have all these enemies who are stronger than Serata, like Delta, Ida, Code, Damon. All these characters are stronger than her. And how is she gonna get a three tomo in the next 20, 30 episodes? That's stupid. I will see what happens. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos to come.